You checked out the latest video of the Mercedes SL63 AMG. If you haven't, the link will be down in the description or in any of the corners. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Milonish. This is a quick episode of the Porsche. Uh, I'm Levi Schmitz. And here we have... I'm Siko. Yes. So, in today's video we have the Porsche uh, Panamera 4E hybrid so it is a sport turismo so Porsche actually made a station wagon which I think is really cool because when somebody say Porsche to me all I think about is speed and like small sport cars but now they really tried to combine those things so we have the practicality of a family car and you still have the sportiness and the sporty touch as a 911 now let's jump to the fun stuff Woo! Porsche solved a big problem in Norway. You can now heat your heart. You can now heat your arms on this beautiful 2.9 liter V6 double turbo charge. No. You can now heat your arms on this beautiful 2.9 liter turbo twin turbo. 2.9 liter turbo charge twin. 2.9 liter twin turbo charge. 2.9 liter twin turbo charge V6. If you combine the petrol and the electric engine, you have 462 horsepower with 700 newton meters. The car has 8-speed automatic with dual clutch, which comes as a standard. Porsche tried to make a practical car as well as a sporty car, and I think they really did it this time. If you see here in the back, I have so much leg room and I have a lot of space on top of my head also and it's comfortable to be in the back of this car. I have a good view out of the wi uh, window in the front here and yeah I doesn't feel like I'm sitting in a tight car. It feels like a big family car and the boot of the car is 520 liters. It's not the biggest boot in the Sport Turismo uh, class but it's it's still big you can fit uh, you can fit four big adults in here and still have enough space for all of their luggage and one thing i really love about the porsche i don't think i think i need to turn the car on <laughs> yeah one thing i really love about the porsche is this line here unfortunately it's split it right here i like i don't understand come on porsche why can't you just make that one centimeter extra why i really also love the roof spoiler it gives the car a more sporty look. You also get sport exhaust system on this car. Literally every time. Every time. That's me, that's my mom. On each side you have like this fuel cap. So on this side is obviously the charging port. Uh, it charged with the type 2 charger. And on the other side yeah, I don't care. I just, I drive this car with a fully electric all the time, so I doesn't need to fill up the gas. Yeah. Now I'm driving in E Power. That's the uh, fully electric uh, driving mode of uh, uh, from Porsche. And when I'm driving in E Power, I have approximately 50 kilometers of range. Uh, I don't think I could do 50 kilometers of range with one charging uh, on this car, but. I guess if Porsche say they can do it, they somehow can. The interior is comes from Porsche, so you can expect high quality. All ev everything you can feel, everything, every button you can touch, even these buttons here. If you listen closely to this, it has a tactile feedback when I touch it, so it's easy to maneuver this uh, this infotainment system when you're driving. Yeah, the fun thing about Porsche is that right now. I'm doing 20 kilometers in electric mode and as soon as I step on the gas oh, I unleash the beast! <laughs> because of the huge batteries of the car, the car weighs 2190 kilograms and that's quite heavy for a Porsche but the excitement I get when I'm driving this car makes up for that. 
all right now we're at the end and thank you guys for watching this video uh, if you liked it please leave a like and remember if you want to see more of this smash that subscribe button